nitrogen fertiliser is vital to crop production in the Australian grains industry, with around 1.4 million tonnes of urea applied in 2015. Yet grains crops use less than half of the fertiliser that is applied, an expensive problem that can also damage the environment by releasing greenhouse gases and contaminating waterways. When nitrogen fertilisers like urea are applied to the surface, they require rain to wash them into the soil. If there is little rain, it remains on the surface and some of the nitrogen can be lost to the atmosphere as ammonia gas. Nitrogen that does move into the soil can be consumed by soil microbes, which tie up the nitrogen while using it to break down organic matter. This nitrogen isn't lost, but until it's released by the soil microbes, it's not available to the crop, which is a problem if the crop is already deficient in nitrogen. But what if there was a way to ensure that more fertiliser is used by the crop? Mid-row banding nitrogen fertiliser may be one such solution. It involves placing fertiliser below the soil surface in a concentrated band between every second pair of crop rows. And with the widespread adoption of GPS guidance, it's now possible to use mid-row banding in season rather than top dressing. By applying nitrogen at depths of around 7 centimetres, it's possible to reduce the amount of nitrogen that is lost to the atmosphere. Research has also shown that when crops are grown next to highly concentrated bands of nitrogen fertiliser, the crop's root system grows towards the fertiliser band, which may help the crop to more effectively compete with soil microbes for nitrogen. While there's an economic cost of purchasing the machinery needed for mid-row banding, scientists at Agriculture Victoria, through the Regional Research Agronomists Program, have found that it increased crop uptake of fertiliser from 42 to 60%, which in most cases increased wheat yield or protein. Scientists continue to investigate the effects of mid-row banding on grain yield and protein by testing the system in different seasons, soil types, environments and crops. The aim is to identify where mid-row banding may improve nitrogen use efficiency and productivity for the grains industry.